YouTube, what's going on? As you guys know, I am True Triz. Today, I'm here on Minecraft Wii U doing a Minecraft Wii U Let's Build a Hunger Games world. So, in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys all the basic things you really need to know when starting a Hunger Games world. Um, so, first things first, you're going to have to pick a awesome seed. Uh, it doesn't have to be, like, too spectacular, but you can either have, like, a super flat world and, like, build the world yourself, like, all the landscape, or you can go onto a generated map and hopefully find a good seed that is fair enough that you can actually start building a Hunger Games uh, like wall around. So you actually can see what we did here. Uh, it took quite some time and we're not completely finished yet. But we have the main parts done. We just have like, I think two or three blocks high so people can jump over the wall and we have it in the water too. But we built this glass wall all the way around this map here where uh, we're starting to build a Minecraft Wii U Hunger Games. So this is super exciting and uh, yeah, but Main thing also is to maintain uh, a balance. You want to have your world to be equal as possible. I've been into some some worlds where there's actually uh, like I don't know like some some walls like really tight to like the spawn. I don't know, but here's some builders that actually helped uh, help make it. And I'll leave this into in the world so you guys will probably see this once I actually start playing it. But huge shout out to these guys. It's been a huge huge help to me helping me build this wall. But let's continue on our little let's build here. Alright, so once you have your actual wall area all finished, um, granted there's still some pieces left I still have to fill in, but honestly, I mean, no one's gonna be jumping over like super far on that on that wall over there if I quick come over like this way. Like, honestly, like what I mean by this is like you don't you don't need to fill up the whole whole wall like way up here unless you really want to. It looks a little better if you do. I mean, it looks kind of silly with these little gaps here. But, like, no one's going to be jumping over this wall over there, so you don't have to worry about that. But, anyways, this is probably the second most important thing, is getting your start area ready. Um, like I mentioned before, if um, you want to find a good area that is super, super balanced and super, super equal on both sides. Granted, there's going to be some filling in. I'm going to have to, like, fill in some, some random areas down here. Like, I don't want people to go too crazy. But I want to reward people for taking risks in the, in the world, obviously. So... First things first, um, I, I will start to develop a, uh, a nice spawn area where I want my uh, players to, to start at. And I have a couple options here, maybe for another map, or maybe I can like duplicate this map too. I, uh, I might have it so people spawn up in the air and then you kind of like drop down, you, you drop in like in like loads of water or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, but for the time being, I think I'm actually going to make it so the, uh, the pods will be in the middle of the map here. So not have to worry about anything like too too spectacular here so first things first if you guys want to get your pods set uh, you're gonna need a little bit of an area to start off with um, like I mentioned before I want to be as balanced and equal as possible so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll probably put uh, even though I wanted to put my this is like my uh, I should say the credits people that helped me build the wall and stuff like that shout out to these guys uh, for helping me but if you guys um, have seen any of my other Hunger Games maps before. I like to keep everything as balanced as possible. So I'm gonna throw the pods in down this area. I'm just gonna start making this level level area. I'm not gonna be too concerned about um of like these like the dirt or how it looks like right now. But personally I think when I look around this is like as this is probably the best I can probably get it to be uh to be as equal as possible. So I'm just gonna quick keep deleting these chunks out here. And then I can delete. I don't really have to worry about this glass or grass. Like just put stuff on top. I need like a pretty big area overall. I can just start it. Obviously, I can continue to break blocks. Like these blocks, I don't really need. These are kind of random. And I'll just fill up in grass too. So I'm not too worried about the shape. Let's quick delete some of these blocks too, to make a nice landing area zone for our pods. Um, so this is probably one of the most important part too. Um, is the pods because a you want everyone to to leave at an equal area, equal time. And uh, in order to do that, you have to make sure that everyone is uh, is fair game with it. So let's do it. Let's do it quick. Um, so first things first, I always recommend starting out with like your general shape of the area. For this one, I'll I'll end up using we'll use quartz. Like block of quartz looked the coolest in my opinion. And all we're gonna have to do we'll we'll, we'll drill out holes first, and then uh, then I'll fill it up with quartz so we can see what it actually looks like. So. Uh, what I like to do is I like to do five, so one, two, three, four, five. Then you kind of go on an angle here, drill out two, one, two, and this guy right here, you drill out one. There we go. And then you can flip it now. So now we drill out two going this way, one, 
to, whoops, there we go, corner this, and then now we are going to go five again, one, two, whoops, there we go, all right, one, two, three, four, five, corner it, so then now we're in the corner, go two again, one, two, corner it, go one, now we're back here, so now from one, we go two again, one, two, corner it, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, and you can see how it lines up, it lines up perfectly, um, corner it, just like that, we go two, and then we do one again, there we go, and then flip it, go two, one, two, corner, and go five, one, two, three, four, five, corner again, go two, whoops, I have wrong placement, corner it, oh, yeah, I mean, I guess you can just throw, throw it down if you really want to, but then go two again, and then you're back at five, so you can see, this is the general shape that we actually want it to be, so now I'm going to quickly go fill it in, whoops, there we go, fill in to look nice, with the quartz, I just say, so you kind of like see it a little easier, maybe if you guys uh, like to see everything when I back out visually a little bit better, I mean, it, I know people are more visual learners than, um, I should say, like, me talking to it. I don't know how, uh, that's been the right, that's, that's a bad term to really describe what I'm doing. Well, people like to learn actually seeing it, then uh, me like, kind of like telling you guys what to do. So I'll back out and show you guys um, everything that I actually did. So let's go fly up. And so there we have it. So now what we actually want to do is uh, we're going to be filling out the, uh, the holes in the middle there. So it's really, really easy actually. All you want to do is hit the middle blocks or the middle hole. So we're actually going to have a pod. Whoops. We're going to have a pod right there. Um, the one pods are going to have one. And this guy. And then same thing for all the other holes around here. The one pod is going to have one. The middle of the five is going to have one. The one pod is going to have one. And then the middle of the five. So you can see these are where all our pods are going to go. Obviously, like our, our uh, ones. I think once they lift the uh, player limit, then I'm going to have to expand it a little bit. But for now, I think that's this is exactly how it's going to have to go. So moving on then, then um, you actually want to pick a host pod. Personally, I think I'm going to have the host pod. I'll delete some of this stuff in the background, but we'll have the host pod. Um, I'll have them actually start this way, right over here. So, I mean, granted, if I fly all the way up, you can see, I mean, it's not... I think it's going to be as even as possible, really, if you, if you really look at the big picture, like, compared to the whole world, you know. Granted, there's probably some, this corner looks like a little closer to that corner, just a little bit, maybe, but not terrible, not, like, completely game-changing. But I think everyone, from what they, no matter where someone starts out, I think everyone's going to have a fair advantage. And I'm going to equally distribute all of the chests, too, so you guys don't have to worry about that. But now... Uh, now what we actually want to do is fill in the rest of this thing right here All right, so once you're actually all good with that you want to actually drill two holes deep on each of them Including the hole you originally drew in and then put a sticky piston facing up for all the holes you guys threw in there um, This way it will uh, make more sense granted if you guys want it to be a little higher or lower depending on how when, what level you guys are at uh, you guys can adjust to that as well, but this is kind of just like the basic, basic setup you guys really need. So, once we actually have this, now we actually want to find a host pod. I recommend picking the host pod on one of the, like, the five uh, length blocks. Because it makes more sense if you guys put it on, like, an angle. It's going to be quite hard for you to actually control all of the pods. So, once you actually do this, uh, you can start drilling away, hacking away, and, um, and finding all of the other pods too. So... Start in your host pod and go straight across so you find the other pod that's right across. Then find the one that's uh, like directly on the right and then keep doing it until you make kind of like a cross shape and just continue to go all the way down to your other block and you should eventually find it just like that. And then uh, for this one, the ones on the side is really important too. Don't go like from like the middle end. You got to go in from like your host pod. So start your host pod and then go from like the second block out and then continue to, to shovel down and hit that pod and then do the exact same thing for all of the other pods on, on the same side too so you actually can connect them all. If you guys connected it in any other way, I mean, you could do it, it's possible, but for like the redstone mechanics, I recommend you guys actually do it this way because it makes uh, it's a little more easier for, uh, for you guys to kind of understand and, 
and throw it on the redstone uh, repeaters and stuff like that. So next, what you actually want to do is you want to go into back to your host pod and you want to make your nice button area. So I'm just going to quick grab a button here and then throw down a button just like that. But there's actually a little more you can actually do, which I'll explain in a little bit. I do like the button to face that way. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, that's how it is. So next, fill in all of the spots with the redstone. And once you actually have that, you can see like if you guys press the button, everything will work. But you're not done yet. Um, in order to make everything on the same level, I should say, or go up at the same time, uh, delete all the uh, the block or the redstone dusts and then kind of make the little shape like this so they're all facing that way and they're all facing separate pots once you actually do this um, whoops didn't mean to put that there you can actually delete um, your other uh, I should say your lever down here to make everything equal so delete this guy just like that put a block down get a redstone repeater facing it towards your block and then put another uh, block on top of your redstone repeater and then you can actually um, throw down another lever too so it all match. So this way they will all actually like there's like a second delay or like I say I'm a millisecond almost but that way everything will come up at the exact same time. They won't come down at the same time but they'll come up at the same time. So you can see how that one how they both come up at the same time but I when I release it the, they drop at this at different times which doesn't really matter because once they're up they're up and doesn't really matter too much. But Anyways, that's kind of like the basic resto mechanics. Make sure you guys have like this H shape that I'm showing you guys right here. It's super, super important. You guys have this so all the timing for all the pods are right on to each other. And then I sped this up so you guys can see. You can just go ahead and cover up all of the grass. Make it whatever design you guys want it to do. Um, then also you can see the option too. You can either have like a quart. So like the pods themselves are like quart blocks or you can match the same one. Or I do recommend having like a glass shape. That way, uh, whenever someone tries to like come through or whatever, you can actually see if someone's like in their pot or not. It's really it's easier for it's more for the I would say the host rather than anything else. And you can make sure everyone is ready. But you can cover it up. I do recommend you actually pull the lever so like the redstone is actually up, just in case if you mess up and you see one of the sticky pistons go down all of a sudden, then all of a sudden you know that like uh oh something's wrong i definitely messed up the redstone but you guys can see i, I did make some like i match the same color but now i'll switch it to to glass here so you guys can see how uh how it ni how nicely it looks uh, but other than that you're pretty much done of course you can have a cor uh, cornucopia i think it's called that the hunger games refers it to or you can have some chests in the middle if you really have your heart desire to that if not i mean it's all okay uh, i don't recommend having too many overpowered items there but you can see how this thing works it works perfectly and it works amazing so anyways if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you will please smack the like button Catch you guys later. Until next time, have a great day. Stay true. Peace.